Black pop, aka so baby, aka Asuka, and you're now tuned into Talk TV. So let's get into these hot topics. Question of the day: Can we normalize women sleeping with two men and it being okay? Like, you know, this world is only gonna get weirder and weirder. And as this world turns, I'm gonna help push that mother off the cliff. Might as well throw in some weird that I want. Allegedly. Let's talk about some how freaky they are just because you like a lot of sex does not make you a freak just because you want to have a threesome with a girl because your man told you to does not make you a freak and you ain't even gonna eat the box a lot of the girls don't even be want to do that so like i mean i guess and i ain't gonna hold you everybody's down with the shit Till it's time to make it happen. I definitely am scary when it comes to making it happen. But it's the psychology for me. Like, what makes you so different that you're a freak? Because people be thinking the that everybody does is so freaky. It's like, no. Everybody does that. Like, to me, being a freak is enjoying, is pushing your moral boundaries for your own satisfaction and really just enjoying the sluttiness and the whoreness that you are in this moment <laughs> that's the whole point of good sex like you enjoying everything that you're doing you loving it like be a good ho you know what i mean and there's a reason why gangbang is a category in porn there's a reason why dancing bear <laughs> is a category <laughs> it is what it is like oh god i hope i'm not getting too vulnerable i hope this is a safe space like because you know how men love to talk about oh we want a safe space but yet you want to judge women because you just want to shame us for liking the same things that you like anyway recently actress miss aj johnson who starred in the movie baby boy and played as jody's mom recently came out and expressed her wonderful experience with having two men please her and i'm here for it let's get into this clip would you do a, a threesome i'm like yeah bring in let me pick the guy they're like wait what yeah i yeah, get so mad yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i'm here, I'm here for it I've, I've let me pick the guy that. oh yeah what and two and men they, two men mm -hmm. and and they traded off it was like they were friends Mm -hmm. And they trade it off. It's the best 50th birthday ever. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. And they, they were, they, and they trade it off. So it was never like them together. <laughs> together. Okay. It was like they were flip flopping me. And it wow. was like, oh my nice. goodness. <laughs> wow. It was, Tennis like, match. So, it was like doing a salsa with two guys at the same time. <laughs> Just like romantic and sexy. Nice. And never intertwined. But at the same time, it was two. And as it was happening, I was like, this is happening. Like, I, was, I, was, I was like, this is actually happening. This it's is happening. really a real thing. I would kiss one and he would swim me. I was like, oh my God, this is happening. And then <laughs> oh I just kind of relaxed and let it happen. And the next morning, we were like the three musketeers. Nice. And I was like, so what time that tonight? That amazing. Nice. <laughs> because it was so effortless. Yes. And it was so sexy. Mm -hmm. but, but sexy not in a sexual way. Sensual. Sexy, mm -hmm. Yes. It was sensual. sensual. They were very gentle. You. Yeah. It takes a real woman to admit that. And it takes a real man to understand that. Shout out to the nigga Guapo. That's Guapo with a zero underscore on Instagram. And make sure y'all subscribe to his YouTube channel, The 444 Show. This is him on Aid at the Table. Shout out to Aid at the Table. This is him speaking on his views of allowing another woman into the bedroom to please his woman. Others may call it a gangbang, but he calls it a Scooby Snack. Listen, my shorty, I know she watched Game Bang. I called her a few times. Can I just answer your question? She liked that. So if we in Vegas and we chilling, I might give her a little snack. Being that I've never done this before, I'm gonna tell you how it would happen. Okay. How I would think it would happen. You feel me? Let's just say we remember. I keep saying Vegas because Vegas is a spot where I would like let all the rules just be broken for Vegas because I'm, you know, like life is short. I'm having fun. So if we at a pool party, we chilling and I'm saucy and I'm having a good time. I might be in, in her ear talking crazy like, yo, I'll make him smudge you right there. Y'all say I want, you feel me? You want fuck him? Yes. She might be drunk too. She might say, stop playing. Nah, listen, I know you want a threesome, yo. 
Wh- I know you want to gangbang. How gang do you bang. get him involved? I know you want to gangbang. That's the only point I listen, care about. Listen, listen. How do you listen, get him involved? It's simple. My b- bad as f- Can I talk? Can I talk to you? Though? I'm listening. Yo, come in. He's pretending to call the dude come over. Come here, yo. Come over here. Hey, yo, look, yo. This is going to sound crazy, yo, but like, yo, sure you went through the f- this, huh? I'm going to grab her. I'm going to tongue her. Like, bro, you want this? Don't lie. You want you're weird. Why you want fucking? Yeah, yo, you're weird. Yo. Y'all might say I'm I'm crazy and I'm weird, but peep this though. Your chick, she watches Game Bang. Inside, she's a real fucking freak. Every woman is a fucking freak in the inside. Wait, and wait, me, wait, wait, wait. I don't mind letting my baby to breathe every now and then. Because wait, wait. I'm, that's my opinion. Yeah. So every now and then, we in Vegas, we chilling, I give her a Scooby snack. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. It's a safe space. Your secrets are safe with me. Would you ever be okay with letting your girl get a Scooby snack? And I gotta say, it takes a lot of confidence as a man to come out and say that. So shout out to him for that. Next on the docket, we have DJ Academics. Recently, DJ Academics got exposed by two girls that went and interviewed with Tasha K. They go by the names of Lily and Madison. Allegedly, Academics found out about Lily on the Fresh and Fit podcast and when academic saw that she was on the fresh and fit podcast he told fresh and fit to kick them off of the show and that's exactly what fresh and fit did only for dj academics to slide in lily's dm which is weird because it's like why would you even entertain anybody who tried to block you from an opportunity anyway so he went on to hold a conversation with her in her dms she told him that she was going to the bahamas for her birthday and academics told her why go to the bahamas when you can just you know come see him and he could show her a nice time so allegedly he paid for the ticket there but no way back and that's the red flag for me if a nigga don't get you a round trip don't go because if some happens as it did on this trip at least you have a way back and it's like at least you didn't waste your time and at the end of the day we all universally know at this grown age any man that's trying to fly you out is ready to you're going on trips you're getting you're going on trips you're getting and i wish i could genuinely say that it shouldn't be expected but that's the whole point and of course you shouldn't be going nowhere if you don't have enough money to get there and get back or you know take care of yourself for a couple of days so they fly into new jersey they get to the hotel and when academics tries to pay for the hotel his car declines niggas really be f-ing broke it's f-ing. like no never again never ever ever again if you know what i'm saying and really cards decline all the time sometimes cards can climb because you're in a different state or you've spent a certain amount of money so i don't think it's because act is broke probably because of that maybe he's just switching locations or something like that anyway so after dj academics car declines the assistant steps in and play, pays for the hotel they get to the hotel and the assistant's trying to feel them out see what type of girls they are uh trying to see how quick they could get it they weren't giving it up so they gave up on doing that they go to the club they allegedly say that they were being peer pressured to you know drink and drink but they weren't really into drinking so they go back to the hotel and then academics pretty much he's at his point where he's like all right let's get to the point he's trying to see if he could you know smash and they weren't going for it so he left them in the room for three hours and they couldn't go nowhere because it was around the time that they had got snowed in when new york had that big snowstorm and the girls end up going to tasha k to expose him for his poor treatment let this be a lesson ladies fly out do's and don'ts if he don't pay for that round trip he don't deserve to pound it secondly make sure you have some type of protection to defend yourself and some type of protection to caress with health (laughs) 
because you just never know what could happen. A dude might try to play, be like, oh, I don't got a, you know, he don't got a rubber. Or if anything would have happened, it could it could have been a setup, like, and you get all your stuff took from you and you have nothing to protect yourself with. Anything could happen. F*** around with these niggas on the internet. Thirdly, make sure you always have enough to take care of yourself there and back and to stay somewhere anyways. So let me know what you think in the comments. Are you the type of man that will let your girl have a Scooby snack? And what are your fly out do's and don'ts? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at it's black pup. And so to talk to me on my page, let's get into this next video.